on Tuesday. No, Monday. We started talking about y-intercept. Do you remember what we said the y-intercept is? No. Okay. Yeah. Then let's start back at the word intercept. What did we say that the word intercept meant? Rise. No. Nope. Oh, cross, right? Oh. We said that the word intercept means to cross. Think about it. I was trying to throw, I think it was Ella the ball, and Chloe, darn her, intercepted it. Oops. Got right in the way of where that ball was going to go so that Ella couldn't get that ball from me. The Y intercept crosses what? What's the Y intercept X. cross? X. Mm -hmm. You guys, it's the y-intercept. What does it cross? The x -intercept. The y it's right in between. Axis. Yeah. If it's a y-intercept, it crosses the y-axis. And what we talked about on Monday was tables. There was a very specific number that we were looking for in the x column of the tables. Good, Ella. That specific number was zero. Because remember, I had the drawing up here, and it had all the dots on the y-axis, and they all had a zero in the x column. So that's how we knew that something was the y-intercept. Well, what we have to do today is we're going to look at graphs. And it actually is even easier than working with the table of values. Really? Yeah, because all you have to do is look at the graph and see where they touch. See where the line and the y-axis cross. Okay. However, this assignment also has a review part of it. Because what we also have to do is review our slope. So I'm going to do one full example. Then I'm going to shut this off so that the kids at home have something to follow, and then we'll do the rest of the worksheet together. Okay? And, yes, it is a worksheet. So let me turn on the... Are they watching us right now? No, it's not live. Oh. <laughs> I watched it. The, the kids are going to wonder where you Cheetos. are. They're going to... Because I can see the screen. And no, they are on. Do they like Cheetos? Or blue cheese? No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty well, sure I was pretty clear about the expectation. No, I'm not. Whoa. Thank you. You want some paper? <laughs> like always and those of you who are in class with me you get a hard copy because this is not easy to do on the chromebook so the chromebook unfortunately kids who are remote have to do it on the chromebook those of you who are with me we can do it a little bit easier if we just do it on paper so at the top of our assignment just like at the top of all of our assignments there's a little bit of a review for us how do we find a y-intercept in a graph the graph the y-intercept describes where the line crosses the y-axis that what we said. The x-coordinate is zero and the corresponding y-value would be the y-intercept. Here's your y-axis. How do I know it? It tells me. Here's the line. Where does this line cross the y-axis? At the 2. At the 2. So the y-intercept is either 0, comma 2 or just plain old 2 depending on the situation, depending on what it is that I'm asking you to find. All right, so let's go to number one. If I were you, what I would do is start my finger at the top of the y-axis and go down until you hit, until you intersect with that line. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to go down, 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 stop, because I hit the line. What number is that? Two. Two. So on the y-intercept line, so we're going to write 0, 2, or just 2. Take it right. Lee, do you write it down? Yep. Okay. You are the same way. Now, let's go back and do a review of our slope. First thing you should ask yourself, what is slope dude doing? This is a nice negative. If slope dude was here, he'd be sledding down this hill. So before we forget, we're going to put a negative on the answer line. Okay. Remember that our slope, what um, what funky fraction do we remember for slope? Very good, you guys. All right, so it doesn't matter which dot I start at. 
it doesn't matter which dot I go to. I, if I keep the dots closer, I can reduce the chance of having to reduce the fraction. Start on the lower dot and do what with my marker? Go up, rise. How many? One. Only one, because then my foot is on level with this next step. So rise one. Now how many do I have to run? How many? Four. 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 Very good. So that's how you do it. Okie doke. Okay. Now let easy. me shut this off.